Hello, friends of our Daily Light channel. This is your sister Grace. Friends, it's Sunday. It's the day of our rendezvous. I trust you are doing fine. If you can listen to me, it means you are alive and all hope is not lost. You are still there and God is still concerned about about you hallelujah every returning subscriber you are so much welcome and if you are just a viewer occasional viewer please do want to subscribe to support your sister grace hallelujah god bless you as you do that praise the lord it's sunday it's the day of our rendezvous friends i have something to share with us today that i titled say no to evil diversions praise the lord Hallelujah. Our scriptural passages are Genesis 16, 15, Genesis 17, 20 to 22, Genesis 18, 1 to 15. I want to begin with this beautiful story that I learned of one house of assembly member who was 36 years old, a speaker of the house of assembly. He was due for marriage and there were complaints everywhere by citizens of his constituency how he is not yet married and the way everybody was hands on deck looking for a wife for him, that he must be married. Well, we call that a political marriage and the saddest thing and the saddest news is that it did not end well. Hallelujah. As many women applied, although one was chosen, but finally, it did not end well. Hallelujah. Our scriptural text, Genesis 16, verse 15 says, And Hagar bears Abram a son. And Abram called his son's name, which Hagar bare, Ishmael. Genesis 17, 20 and 21 says, And as for Ishmael, I have heard thee. Behold, I have blessed him. And will make him fruitful and will multiply him exceedingly. Twelve princes shall he beget and I will make him a great nation. But friends, I want you to take note of that. 21 says, but my covenant will I establish with Isaac, not Ishmael, which Sarah, not Hagar, shall bear unto thee at this set time. In the next year, hallelujah. Please do read Genesis 18, 1 to 15 at home and you surely be blessed, hallelujah. Friends, I came with this word, say no to evil diversions. Say no to Ishmael in your life. One, one writer says there is no, there is one thing stronger than all the armies of Israel. Pardon me. And that is an idea whose time has come. Friends, an idea whose time has come is dangerous to rush or a dream. You can see, say, a dream. Hallelujah. Don't rush your dreams and your ideas until your God-given time comes. Your labor or rushing anticipation will always end you in frustration. It is better to do all you know to do. Then you can wait on your God who is the master of times and seasons. Please Somebody also said there is no hopeless situation. Do you bear with me that there are only hopeless men and women who have grown hopeless about their situation? From our reading, the Bible says Abraham rushed ahead of God and he got Ishmael. Moses, in it, on his part, also rushed ahead of God and he was convicted for mother by the most powerful nation on earth, then Egypt. Satan also had to try to rush our Lord and Master Jesus Christ to get him to the throne without the cross. But Jesus prevailed. That is who we are. We have to walk in line with our master. Don't create your own Ishmael, my friend. It will give you sorrow for life. Waiting is one of the bus stops on the road to success. Whatever your father has not planted will not stand God cannot water any idea or crop he has not planted. God cannot bless any action that he did not begin. We can also see in the Bible how Saul lost his throne out of impatience and unapproved sacrifices. Oh, if only Saul would have waited for his time, for Jehovah's time. Hallelujah. 
We need to learn from Saul. Friends, I came with this message. The year is running fast. Stop pitying yourself. Stop planning to rush. Stop comparing yourself to others. God is busy concerning you. Be reminded of what I can say. Don't jump into any opportunity. That seldom leads you to happy landing. Please beware. I came with this message because your time of laughter has come. Don't jump into any quick landing, into any quick situation. Wait for your eyes, friends. Wait for your laughter. God will surely do it. Let us pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, Kadusa Preketiria, Kadusa Brantone Keteneboshi, Tahunda Puria Noskedebosha, Kazuria Bosi Kade. Everyone listening to my voice, I pray for you. You will not miss your time. You will not miss your set time. You will not take a lesser thing. Instead of what God, that grand thing that God has prepared for you, in the name of Jesus, I separate you from any time that is not yours, any enticement of evil, in the name of Jesus, as the year is running towards an end. Receive grace not to rush, I pray for you. Receive grace not to rush as the year is running to an end. Anything that is affecting your peace, I pray in the name of Jesus, they come off your life. I reject worry over your life. I reject hurrying. I reject Ismael. I plead the blood of Jesus over your life. I plead the blood of Jesus over any. Any evil diversion that the devil has planned on your way, it shall not meet you. You will not enter there. In the name of Jesus, I separate you from evil diversions. I separate you from Ishmael. Akuda Busia. Let that spirit be broken out of your life. You will not fall prey. You will not fall prey to anything that has been set by the enemy. That will be your water low tomorrow. No evil decisions. No wrong decisions will you take as you hear the sound of my voice receive grace to overcome any pressing thing that wants you to take immediate decision you will not take immediate decisions that will lead to your crying you will not take immediate decisions right now receive counseling receive guidance from the lord let the hand of the lord come upon you for good in the name of jesus i cover you with grace i cover you with the mercy of direction the mercy of direction and grace come upon your life like a cloak. It will lead you. Behold, you will hear a voice saying to you, this is the way. Go this way. Walk this way. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Abba Father. Everyone that has listened to this message, this grace is activated upon your lives. They will not falter. They will not fail. In the name of Jesus. This grace is multiplied upon their lives in Jesus name. Amen. I cover you with the blood of Jesus. I cover your weak with the blood of Jesus. I decree no Ishmaelic weapon will prosper over your lives in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you for listening. God bless you. And I pray you remain subscribed. And if you've not done that, subscribe. Hallelujah. God bless you. Remember that I, your sister Grace, I love you with the love of God. But Jesus loves you more. Stay blessed until we meet again by God's grace. Amen.